Hello friends. I have admittedly been bad. Um, as you know, I'm going to Briarfest this year and I shouldn't be buying horses and yet I can't freaking stop, okay? Um, so I'm going to be doing a haul of sorts. To be fair, I've only bought and bought, bought and I bought one like traditional model and then three stable mates, but they were like three dollars each so I think we'll give me a pass on those and then I traded for the uh, third model. Um, but I should be off buying until Briarfest, unless it's stable mates because, uh, yeah, I have an addiction. Um, so anyway, I guess I'll start out with the stable mates. Um, I went to two Walmarts. Um, the Walmart close to me doesn't carry briars, but there's two that are about 20 minutes away and they're like only a couple minutes from each other um, that do. Um, and so I went to the first one. My intention was to get the um, unicorn surprises and I wanted to get the Chase Magnolia. Um, and then I also went with the intention of getting the mystery horse surprise with like the silver alborozo but i don't think they carry those at walmart um like the series two mystery horse surprises like i'm really confused between the horse crazy surprise and the mystery horse surprise but they had the horse crazy surprise um the first walmart i went to was kind of a bust um i did get one horse which i'll show you but I'll put inside a picture, the only unicorn they had there, someone freaking ripped open the bag and then like took it out. It was cute, it was the Arabian rune one, but like that was the only unicorn they had and I just like, I just don't do that people, come on. Like especially like, it's not even, I, I guess, it's not even a chase, like a mold with the chasers on, so like why would you even open it, like just feel the bag or like, I just, I mean it could have just been a kid, either way it's really frustrating when people open the bags. At the second store someone opened up an Alborozo, like just don't do that. Um, but anyway, at the first store, um, unicorns were no-go, but I did get, and guys, okay, I have no, like, self-discipline, so I opened these all, like, in the car, except for one of them, um, so yeah, I opened this girl up once I got out of the car, but I just, I've been wanting, um, a horse in this mold for a while, and she's pretty nice, um, it's the Grey Dungree from the Horse K Crazy Surprise Series 2, um, they didn't have any of the Icelandics, um, but that's okay, because I'm not a huge fan of the pink, um, and she's cute. I mean, she's perfect condition. There was two there and like, I'm so indecisive. I couldn't decide between the two because obviously I can't see them. So I was like worried one might have flaws and one might have nicer shading. And I mean, she doesn't have the darkest shading, but she's flawless. So like, I guess it was a good choice to go with her. So yeah, she's really cute. I'll provide some close up shots of her. Alrighty, the next horse I got is a horse crazy surprise. Um, I know it's Magnolia because I felt two Magnolias, but I opened one of them. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna open her up. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not the chaser. I'm like 100% sure, but you know, we'll open her up just to look at her. Yeah. Well, she's not that bad. I mean, I didn't think I would like the black one, but she's okay. I might sell her still. Her hoof is like painted up there. Um, but yeah, so there was two magnolias at the store and I already opened the other one and um, probably shouldn't have. I did it in the car. <laughs> I couldn't resist because I wanted to know if I got the chase. Um, and I'll show you the next one because I'm pretty stoked about her. But I'll give close ups of this of magnolia. She's actually nicer than I thought. right away in the car um, I just opened her there was so there was two magnolias at the store like I said and I because if there's I figured maybe one had already been bought because usually I heard that when there's magnolia it means there's or when there's a chase there's three magnolias so I think one of them had already been bought because there's only two magnolias and da -da -da -da, I got this girl it's my first time well that's not true I got a chase in the wild or, um, I got a chase when I got my Alborozo, but that was at Tractor Supply, and, like, literally every Tractor Supply had that chase Alborozo at that point. Um, but, yeah, she's super cute, and I just sold my chase Alborozo because he did, was, like, pretty wiggly. Wiggly? Wobbly? He didn't like to stand, and that kind of made me angry. But she's so freaking adorable. I'll do close-ups of her. I was, I, like, squealed when I opened her in the car because I was not expecting to get a chase. Um, but she's super cool. I think, like, Briar did a really good job on the design on her. Like, it's not too, like, the chase, like, the pink and the blue and the green chases I've never really liked. Um, 
like those three courses I'll show them um but like this chase I like I like I obviously love the blue Albi chase but he's harder to find and maybe at a Cracker Barrel we'll find him next time instead of Walmart runs we're going to be doing Cracker Barrel runs and I'll just end up with like tons of Albies um <laughs> but uh, yeah I really like her and I like the silver Alvarozo obviously um I just need to find where he's sold and yeah she's so cool I was so excited she's not leaving my collection because I sold one chase piece and I have to have at least one in my collection I wish I found some better sounds no one's ever heard I wish I had a better voice to sing some better okay so my next horse I got in a trade I traded a custom Latigo that I had for a while that he showed well, but I just wasn't a huge fan of him anymore. Um, the resculpt work on the main was like not just like just not not my favorite. Um, but he's really lovely, like. Um, and so I traded him, and I got a model. Um, a few hints. He came in a velvet bag. And you probably saw him in the background earlier in the video. I don't know why I'm trying to make this a huge reveal. Also, he's posted on my Instagram, but whatever. And he was some ribbons, and he came with a COA. So yes, I got Valiant. Um, he's super cute, flawless. The only issue is like his legs are a little wonky, but I remember I had one horse one horse on the Aedicus mold before. It was Wapiti and his legs were a little wonky too, but I'll um, provide close-up shots in a little bit. Um, but yeah, he's super cute. He's very dark. I was looking at my friends um, while I was FaceTiming her and um, hers is a lot lighter, which Hers is nice too, but yeah, it's just interesting. Mine's got very dark shading. Um, his eyes are beautiful. Um, everyone's getting bow, um, and I decided to sell mine because I just traded for this guy, and I didn't really need to be getting two dapple gray Ida kisses at the same time. But I will be looking for a braided one at Briarfest. That or a glossy Bruno. <laughs> uh, I think I'll have better luck with the bow. Um, but yeah, so he's gorgeous. Um, just really stunning. Um, I know a lot of people weren't a fan of his dapples, but I think he's cute. He had, came with a couple ribbons and a reference. I might change up the breed reference just because I like to use my own and not like what other people have, but it was really nice of the owner to send the breed reference. Words. I wish I found some chords in an order that is new. I wish I didn't have to rhyme every time I sang. I was told when I get older all my fears would shrink, but now I'm insecure and I care what people think. My name's blurry face and I care what you think. Next horse is what I'm so excited about. Um, probably the one I'm most excited about. Uh, I don't know. I, as you can tell, I'm wearing gloves. Um, so basically, um, I was watching I think it's Mitten Model Horses videos, and they're saying that if you touch model horses with your hands, I think it would be like the oils make them the gloss come off. So I'm like super now. I'm like I've literally bought gloves from Amazon. I bought like a 24 pack of gloves from Amazon, <laughs> and then for like eight dollars, and I'm like. All right, I have so many glossy models. I love my glossy models, so I'm handling them with these gloves. Anyway, so this guy is a glossy model. Um, I think I made it a goal of mine to attain obtain all of the a glossy like a glossy surprise model from each year, um, except for 2016 because I'm not a huge fan of the Esprit mold. The only exception of to that would be if I found a pal glossy Palomino for like a really good price, and I'm talking like under. $200, which is actually the amount I've paid for all of my glossy surprise horses. It's been under $200. Um, so, so far, my first one was in 2017. I got the Bollywood. And then I got the 2018 surprise model at Breakfast 2018 in gloss. And then I also got the Quell surprise in gloss um, that year, too. So, so I have 2004, or 2015. 2017, 2018, and now I have 2014. Um, I found this guy on Models Horse Sales pages for a steal, and I snatched him right up. I mean, I'm not gonna say the price I spent, but yeah, it was um, definitely a steal. Um, like around the price I see the matte ones go for. Um, and his gloss is kind of light, um, but he's really stunning. I have the matte variation, and I do have to say I love this guy a lot more. Um, he's flawless um and yeah I, I really can't believe I have this guy I've been wanting to glossy pop the cork for a while now um I will be selling my matte one just because I don't feel like I need both um but yeah he's really nice uh and I'm just 
so happy. Um, yeah, he needs a name. By the way, my Valiant, I named Silver Lining. Um, I'll be putting some pictures in here, but he has placed at Ryerfest Live. She told me he got like a second and like a sixth or something like that. Um, so I'm super excited to show him myself. Um, and I, I think he's limited to like 125. But now I just need a glossy CC, CC shuffle. Wish me luck on that one. And then a glossy uh, stone line. But yeah, I'm super excited about this guy. He's absolutely stunning. So this guy's really rad. Um, I'm super excited. I'm sorry I'm rambling. Um, I'm just really happy about this model. I thought it would be nice to kind of compare the matte and glossy versions while I got the chance. As you can see, like, the gloss kind of lightens him up um, and gives him more of a redder tone, whereas this guy is darker and more purpley. Um, and, like, this is more the shading on his face is kind of harsher than the shading on this guy's face, which I found interesting. They both have that, you know, dark, contrasty shading. Um, but this guy's, I think, is, yeah, darker and stronger. I think just in general, the shading on this guy is, like, a lot harsher. I kind of prefer this guy. He's, like, more peachy. <laughs> My name's blurry face and I care what you think Wish we could turn back time To the good old days when Also, um, I still look like a goober with these gloves that are too small on me, but I just wanted to say thanks for watching, and, um, I'll have more videos uploaded soon, and... Yeah, uh, stay tuned. I'll see you all at Briarfest, but I'll have videos up before then, so thanks, guys.